So I'll try not to make, I will layer this up for you guys um, as to what we're trying to do. Tom will have, he's got a little bit of a flattened curvature in his lower spine and he's got a greater kyphotic curvature just here. So we want to work our way through the whole of the spine. Think about the fact that all of the muscles will be affected by the position of the lower spine. And so whenever I'm doing a back massage, regardless of whether it's just the lower back, I will start with my money maker into a forearm glide, go all the way down and we're aiming for the top of the hip. And I will slowly build my way up into focusing in on the lower back. This all still counts. A lot of you guys are moving into pure pain mode and not giving any nice massage. And the back is a really good opportunity to kind of actually say, well, the therapy is maybe half of the session or a third of the session. A lot of the session is still all of your level three stuff. So Sorry. sort of prepare, prepare the canvas ready for treatment. So at the moment what I'm doing is just hooking the soft tissue, the skin, pushing it up against the hip, going into the lower back, and then just flattening out the kyphotic curvature. Good firm deep tissue massage all the way through. A little bit of a rake. Love the rake and Stan taught you the concepts of myofascial release myofascial release and the, the back is a really good place to practice myofascial release and get back to grips with myofascial release so to just give you an idea of what we're trying to achieve with myofascial release it's a slow glide you need to assess where there are fascial restrictions between the skin and the muscle the skin will drag judder or not move in areas where there are restrictions. So you don't need any oils or very little oil when you do your myofascial release and you're assessing and you can see as I pull the skin out from the, from the middle, in this section here where the kyphotic curvature is the greatest, there is very little movement. As I move down to perhaps more healthy curves, there is more movement going on here. So there is a restriction here going this way. If I push this way, it is still restricted, but not too much. Going in that direction, coming down, there's good movement down, but feels stuck coming up. So my direction of glide for this area of your spine, now I might remove some oils if I was gonna do this like deep myofascial work. We teach you a Swedish massage myofascial hybrid, which is about 30 second glide but you can hold these glides, glides for a minute to two minutes to three minutes. You can really, you know, take your time over it. The pressure isn't deep. The pressure is a shearing pressure. So you get hold of the skin and you're trying to pull away the connections of the fascia and the muscle and the skin. So it's more of a shearing sensation than a deep pressure sensation. What I would do as an example, so this, the direction that I'm gonna go is in a diagonal up towards the shoulder because that feels like that's where it's restricted. I'm gonna start in the middle, pull my forearms away from each other and create a glide, which is not deep glide, but is stretching and shearing in its nature. I hope that makes sense. Pushing. How does it feel? Yeah, it's very quiet. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> Moving things away really, really slowly. If I took away the oils, uh, has anyone got any paper towel in the tent nearby? Paper towel Just over there. Awesome. Awesome. We'll get there first. Quick, quick, quick. Yes, 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 yes. This is where I'm filled. Not so super now, are you, Sue? Super soup. Yeah, super slow. <laughs> oh. 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 So I would do this, uh, I'm doing this on the same side, but now I'm going to go for a really nice connection with the skin. And I'm just stretching 
mobilizing really, really slow. I could take that down to a forearm and I could change the direction. To really mobilize. And I said to you guys, I don't use that much oil when I'm massaging. Because I keep an eye on the costs. But it's all, it's all about, you know, if you've got more oil, you're going to be slippery all over the place. And you're going to lose that ability to work the different layers of working the sort of fascial restrictions in the top and then the stuff a little bit deeper on. I really like my fascial release. It's not my discipline, it's not my main area, but I work on the principles of a little bit slower within my massage. And I like this multi-directional application of the strokes, the application of the petrissage, to release fascial restrictions based on people's movements, their movement slings. So that's why I really like the Thomas Myers book for it. It's like fascial trainings and fascial connections. And I use that quite a lot in the way that I deliver my massage. 